Hello, I'd like to give you a small tutorial on how to make USM files into MP4s and MP4s into USM files uh, because there's not a lot of documentation on this. You're going to need three things a VGM toolbox, which is up here, FFmpeg, and also FFm prompt, uh, which you need to use to run it. Uh, there's a file you can find online that's called FF prompt. Um, and you're going to need something called Scaleform Video Encoder. And that's it. So, making USMs into MP4s. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open up VGM Toolbox, go under Miscellaneous Tools, uh, sh under Stream Tools, and Video Demultiplexer. Change it from ASF to USM for Crime Movie 2. Drag and drop the video onto it, like so. And we get a little nifty little um, ADX file, which is sound, and M2V, which is um, the, what do you call it, uh, the video. So I am going to put these two things in here. I'm going to call this a uh, dev intro, then dev intro, yeah, dev intro for both of them. So I'm going to put these into the FMPEG bin right here. Then I'm going to do fmpeg input uh, minus i for input. The input is going to be the dev intro slash or dev intro dot m2v uh, and then dev in intro dot adx. I'm pretty sure that's a file. Yep, adx. And I want this to be a dev intro dot mp4. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. I need to make another input here because the ADX file is also an input. We do that. We let it work its magic. We go under here and wait for it to work. And then we should have an MP4 file with uh, audio. And this is for Party Pack 7. All right. Let's see it. And that is how you convert it from uh, USM into MP4 or any other file type. You can change the file types in here, like I could have done uh, .mov if I wanted to, like you can put anything you want to. So now I have this video right here and I want that to go into, um, into the uh, developer intro instead. So I'm going to make a folder called anything I want. Uh, and I'm going to put the video file into there. Then I'm going to do ffmpeg minus input dot trade slash I'll trade dot mp4 dot means the current folder. The current folder in this case is bin slash trade, which is this folder slash I'll trade dot mp4, which is this file right here. That's the input. And I want that to be changed into a, a dot wav. It has to be .wav, otherwise it won't work. That's the only thing Scaleform Video Encoder supports. And then I'm also going to make a bunch of TGA files. Uh, the way you make it, uh, uh, a TGA file is an image file. And since there's going to be an image for each frame, you're going to call what you want. And then at the end of your name, you're going to call percent %03D. This, do this adds a padding of three digits because the number is three there. If it says it's the four, it's going to be a padding of four digits. So the first frame is going to be 001, second frame 002, and so on. So this is going to make as many f uh, images as there are frames in the video uh, as TGAs. So I'm going to get an audio and a bunch of frames from this. Yep, that's the audio. Let's listen to it. Here, bud, I'll, I'll trade you. Yep. If you look inside of here, a frame. Yep, that's the video. So then we have a bunch of these uh, things. So we're going to open up Scaleform Video Encoder. Then, also you can use .avi as it says up here, but do not do that. AVI makes it look super bad. There's, there's no other way. Use TGA because it's the way you can get the highest quality video. So you're, you're going to pick the first frame of your image thing. 
then you're gonna put uh, if you want audio you can do this if you're using .avi you can use use audio track which uses the audio from the avi file if you don't want audio pick none if you want audio you just pick the uh, audio file that you want you can change bit rates and stuff like that I don't care about that and then you just click encode and then just like that uh, it creates a nice little USM file for you to use that you can use yep uh, wait for it to finish yep just like that and also sometimes it doesn't like work if uh, if it's an AVI I've, I've tried it someplace it says it's a wrong file even though it's not so just use TGA please alright I've changed that I can now go into pack 7 and when I boot it up it should be the video Here, bud, I'll, I'll yep. trade you. And there's a skip thing you right there. take this, and I'll take this, okay? Thanks. I'm sure you'll be fine. If you wonder why I picked this, it's because it's the only video I had that was readily available. Actually. And then just boot you back into the game. And you can do this for any USM files, for any game like that. Uh, yeah. I recommend making backups for this. So yeah. Uh, neat little tip, stuff like the Trivia Murder Party 2 uh, intro sequences are all video files. Stuff like the hallways are also video files, so like, if you want to find them, you just go into your pack and then videos. Uh, and then you can change anything. If you want to change the images in the picker, you just go into party pack, videos, and here's the pickers. So yeah, have fun and... Enjoy, I guess.